Right, so a lot of you have been asking me about how I smooth my 3D prints, whether it's been my T60 armor or my more recent Reaper armor set that I'm going to be featuring in the next couple of videos. So I figured I'd give you a good quick rundown of how I go through the entire process from raw print to shiny smooth, ready to paint. And to be honest, this is the easiest way to smooth PLA without using harsh dissolve you know chemicals that will dissolve the PLA and probably a good chunk of my lungs <laughs> um, and without resorting to something really awful um, and toxic for a lot of folks like Bondo and um, spot putties so um, without further ado I'll introduce you to my two favorite products to smooth most PLA prints provided you don't do some crazy thick thick layer height um, this is usually I do I recommend for 0.3 millimeter, um, yeah, 0.3 millimeter layer heights or lower. Lower means a lot less sanding and post work and things go a lot quicker. So first off, your first tool available from Home Depot is um, Rust-Oleum or you can also use Krylon um, sandable filler primer. Um, I'll have some close-ups of these shots for you to look at. Um, Pretty simple, spray it on, nice thin coats, let it dry, and then just wet sand. Um, the other thing I recommend for like deeper pits, gouges, and then like seam lines between um, your prints, like where you connect pieces together, is spackle. Just your standard stuff that you use for drywall, plaster based. This is by far the most forgiving material, but yet durable. It actually holds together. Like I've gone to many, many cons and armors that are completely coated and stuff. Doesn't chip, doesn't break, doesn't flake off. There is some, there's some amount of flex. Now I wouldn't recommend using this on like a rubberized filament, but it will work beautifully for PLA. Um, never mind the fact compared to something like wood filler or Bondo, this is a dream sand. Um, you can get it nice and smooth and ready for priming um, within a couple strokes. Boom, 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 done. With you know your standard 100, 200 grit sandpaper. So, and like I said, something like this is about nine, 10 bucks in Home Depot. Your filler primer is gonna be three, four bucks, I believe. Um, and they both work beautifully. Like I said, this is the cheapest way to smooth PLA without using some crazy chemical or horrible stuff like Bondo. So here we go. Here's the process. All right, so it all kicks off with cleaning the raw print and removing any stubborn supports, bubbling, or anything else that clearly does not belong on the print. You can use a set of pliers or an X-Acto knife to get the job done. Then we want to start filling in the seams between printed parts. To do this, take your drywall spackle, take a small amount on your finger, preferably watered down, and start pushing and spreading all over the seam. You want to make sure that the spackle is higher than the seam so you can sand it level later. Then take 100-ish grit sandpaper and go to town all over that print. Yeah! Now make sure you do this all over the print that you're trying to finish. Nothing is worse than uneven sanding, and it'll show. Now next up is priming the part. Take a can of well-shaken filler primer and spray it apart with even thin coats. After your first coat, take 200 grit wet dry sandpaper and wet sand the entire print. Now make sure you don't over sand and grind off all the primer as you're only trying to wear down the high areas and redistribute it to the low areas to make it all nice and level. Then coat again with another coat of filler primer. Once it's dry, you want to repeat the wet sanding process with 400 grit sandpaper this time. Now keep doing this priming and wet sanding cycle with progressively higher and higher grits until it's smooth or as shiny as you want it to be. And there you go. This is the cheapest way to smooth a PLA print without resorting to toxic solvents or nasty things like Bondo. Ick. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button, subscribe, feel free to comment if you have any more questions. I'm more than happy to try to answer them either in comment or build another video to address them. Um, every little bit helps uh, build up this 
where I'm hoping to be an amazing channel, an amazing resource to both 3D printers and cosplayers. Uh, until next time, bye.